It just sucks, man. It's just a, it's just a tough position to be in. Like. What's up, y'all? Today is a day that I am simply enjoying my time off. Last week, because of inclement weather and just conflict in the schedule, I had a few games that were canceled, which allowed me to, that couch right there, allowed me to sleep on it from Friday, Saturday, pretty much all day yesterday, Sunday. And when I say I feel rejuvenated, I feel amazing. But, um, stop the haircut. Everything all right with you, boy? Huh? I'll be right back, okay? Love you, baby. I will. I'll let you know when I get there. All right. Well, I'll see you up later, okay? We're good. I'll throw it once. Who else throw it, throw it? See you, bye-bye. Good man. And pick your breakfast ball up. See ya. I saw something the other day that was like, man, listen, the 90s and the 2000s, early 2000s, and they were like, man, you just had to be there. Now, I'm a little bit biased because I'm a 90s baby, born in 91, but. Man, the 90s was just a vibe, man. Life was just so simple. And I know it was simple because I was a child. Life was just a different vibe. Put this thing on ESPN. Because the way that them Cowboys lost last night, I know Stephen A. Smith is going to go crazy today. I just know it. You actually thought y'all were going to win some playoff games. You actually thought that there was gonna be the first time that you were gonna be in I'll the talk to the entire season. Hey, if you ain't got YouTube TV, I'm telling you it's fire. Jamil and I ditch cable. I'm, man, this is the app right here. I'm telling you. Way up there before it came crashing down. Didn't I tell you? Then he got the Green Bay Packers hat on. He is on like max level trolling today. <laughs> that was no. YouTube TV is fire, man. It's like. I got a link in the description. If you um, hit that link and you try it out for like seven days free and you do a free trial, I got my mom on it. Um, it'll give us like $50 off our bill. It'll give you some money off towards your bill. It's not even about all that. Cable is like super expensive. So there's a link in the description. I'm just trying to save you some money. I promise you, you're going to like it. Now, if you got something like Sling or another thing that you're kind of working out with that's totally fine so just want to put that on your radar my car's about to pass a major milestone i don't know if this counts for y'all that's a major milestone we did it joe in just case those that still don't know what's going on you see my mileage 1111 111 miles Come on now, this is the luckiest time. Oh, let me make a wish. The Cowboys do yesterday consistency. Consistently run the book. Let's get a little bit chopped off this top and I'll be right back with y'all in a moment. <laughs> Bob's a little late today. Um, actually, he's late all the time. <laughs> Gotta call it concerning parent today. Um, from the basketball team, so I need to handle that today. So hopefully, um, I told the parents gonna call him at 11, 10, 16 right now. You didn't know they were that, they weren't that good. Finished. Ah, right, y'all, we are good to go. Looking good. Team that I saw play Saturday. 
Make an order, please. Can I get a Got everything in order. Got to call this parent again. That parent of the basketball team. I already know pretty much what his concerns are going to be. Um, I think the hardest thing with basketball is trying to get everyone playing time. Our, every quarter that we play is seven minutes long, and four quarters the game's not even 30 minutes and when you try to put everyone in the game um it can be challenging especially if these are guys who are at the bottom of your rotation and when the game is tight which has been all of our games it could just be it could just be challenging um for parents sometimes to understand and realize that you know, at the high school level, you know, this is not a pay to play league. And as much as I want everyone to play, um, a lot of times parents will present the information of saying, hey, well, you know, I've been paying for this, I've been paying for that. Yeah, those funds go towards transportation, they go towards team meals, which is almost every game uh, meal that we play. Every They get meals pretty much almost every, not every, uh, before we play. And, um, it, it could just it could be challenging but i'm empathetic and i understand where the parents are and the trust me, i want to play everyone it's just that if i see inconsistencies in practice i'm going with the guys who show the least amount of inconsistencies hey mr how you doing this is coach smith everything's well Just on the all right y'all it's a beautiful day it's a 58 degree day here in atlanta as you can see i got the sunroof open today's one of them days i'm like man if i wasn't coaching what would jamila and i do and that's one of the struggles with coaching it's like because you're signed up for an extracurricular program a program that is literally almost a whole year because even when it's the off season you still got spring league, got summer league, got fall league, all of those type of things. Like basketball never stops. Like it's literally maybe off between the months of like March and April, May, but like back in June, we're back at it. And I remember when I got married in 2018, March 31st, I literally resigned. I literally resigned from basketball maybe like two months later. And I remember I had had a conversation with coach in June saying I wasn't gonna be able to do it and that's probably one of the primary reason was I just got married I didn't want to start my marriage off by not being there and it wasn't an easy decision um, it's been four years since I have been coaching but I'm back at it and I remember I was talking to one of our rival schools head coach I saw him at a training for school and I remember having a conversation with him about it we was in front of school, we were talking, and he told me that, he said, man, he said, you made the right decision. He said, my wife and I recently just got divorced um, because of how much time I was out of the house due to basketball. And it, like, he had like a, a moment where he just looked at me and said, you know, you made the right decision. And I just never like let that conversation go. So it was like, Jamil and I had a really long conversation before I took on the coaching role. And to be honest and transparent, Jamila was very apprehensive about me rejoining the staff. She honestly didn't want me to do it, but she supported it if I wanted to make that decision because of my health concerns and because how added, how much added stress basketball brings to the season and how stress can kind of cause symptoms to get all wacky. She was really apprehensive about me rejoining the staff for the basketball season. So like my coaching style this year has been a little more laid back because I'm trying to monitor my stress level, but mm, it's just a lot that goes into it. So today's one of them days, long story short, car saying 59 degrees now that I wish that I had the opportunity to kick it with Jamila. And um, it's okay, cause Jamila ain't really feeling her best right now. So everything works out perfectly. But today's one of the days I wish I had with her today. Blue. Blue. 
these speed bumps are terrible. It's like if you go over it more than like five miles per hour, like you might tear up your axle. See the school bus, the boys aren't on it yet, so that means I've made good time. I love it. All right. We back at the house. Just got back from the store. Went to go pick up some lamb chops for dinner tonight. So I'm about to relax, chill for the rest of the day. Had somewhat of a busy day with the basketball gang and haircut, etc. So I'm gonna take y'all to work with me tomorrow. I'll see y'all in a moment. What's up, y'all? In Dollar Tree. With Jamila. Just got out of basketball practice. Jamila's in here just on some shopping around type vibe. Um, loves in there. So we got a lot of Valentine's Day type stuff. I need to start planning for Valentine's Day. I need to start figuring out what we're gonna do, where we're gonna go, and where we're gonna have our Valentine's dinner. I feel like the last couple of years we've kind of had dinner in the house, but I don't wanna do that this year. I want us to go out somewhere that's really nice, so that means that if you are watching this video, go ahead and start setting those reservations because you know that people gonna be trying to do it the week of. So this might be the prime time week because by the time this video releases, it'll only be like two weeks away. So go ahead and get that, you know. I'm already ahead of y'all. I'm like three weeks out by the time y'all see this will be two. But um, figure out where you're gonna take your old lady. Jamila had me uh, pick out a box. Why is my eye look black right there? What is going on? All right, my eye is not black. I'm not sure what's going on. But anyway. Oh no, hang on There's the camera. Okay. Now it's like the angle. Oh, yeah, it's a little smudge right there. I gotta clean that. I'll get myself a black eye. But listen, Jamila had found like a box. I was like, what's in there? Damn, she was like, why Jamila had me open a box in their store? I might pick some of these up right now for my students. Um, for like a little gang competition around Valentine's Day. So it's never too early. Stop. I got six classes. We get six of them. Baby, we clear that box out there. No, they don't. You want to get them in like Kid loves Mm-mm. Oh, you